Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge meeting. This meeting is for participants of the Essence of Knowledge program. Shivam is asking, if I am everywhere and everything, then why I have this limited range of experience? Why cannot I experience what an animal or other person is experiencing? It is a very common question. So the answer is, you have no knowledge of the self. This is one line answer. You have not realized what is self, what is me, what is I. Is that right? Yes. So without self-realization, nothing can be explained. Because the first sentence says that I am everywhere and everything, which is pointing to the experiencer, the observer, the witness. The second sentence says I have limited range of experience, which is the I is pointing to the person. The person is an experience. It is not the witness. The person is an experience that comes and goes. Right now also you can see the mind and body is the person with its memories and all. It is an experience. So you need to first decide who you are. So I don't know on which step you are and which lesson you are listening to. Can you tell me? Okay, so let us wait for the self-realization lesson. And even after that, if you get the same question, you can ask in the satsang again. So what is happening is, if you ask something which you have not learned, which of which the explanation was not heard, simply a sentence was heard that I am everywhere. You must have heard it somewhere. That is not called knowledge. So there is no point in asking about something which you did not go through which you did not learn, which you did not listen to. First comes listening. Listen to the teaching. And listening to one sentence from here and there is not called teaching. You must go through the course step by step. That is called teaching. So it is okay. You are going through it. But it is impossible for you to know why I cannot experience what an animal or other person is experiencing. Even if I give you the answer, you will not understand because the experiencer is not understood. So for Shivam, my recommendation is continue, continue in the program. The animals and other people, they are experiences. They do not experience anything. You will come to know these simple uh, observations, simple knowledge, essential knowledge. That is why I am now not allowing anybody in this group in the meetings unless they hear everything first. So once you hear 90% of the questions, they go away. And if you ask before getting the full explanation, step by step explanation, nothing is understood. So I got tired of answering these questions, which people ask innocently, but without going through the course, without getting the knowledge first, without thinking about it. And so I made this rule. Now there are people in our group who were added before making this rule. So you can continue in the group. I mean, it is not good to remove people from the group. The, the listening is needed. Do not ask anything if you have not already heard it in the program. If you heard it in some video or you read it somewhere or somebody in the group is saying something that is not called teaching. It will be heard, but it, it will not be understood because the background is not there. Background needs to be prepared first and that is what is being done in the program. So everybody must have noticed that now I am entertaining only the students that go through the program. Because after many, many years of experience, I found that this is the only way. There is no other way. Systematic knowledge is the only way. There is always a reason behind something. If some rule is made, some discipline is forced, there are some reasons for that. Because I am also learning what causes problems in teaching these things, what, what causes problem in understanding something. And uh, finally, I found that uh, no amount of lecturing, no amount of preaching helps to know. It can impress somebody who has heard all these things, who has read the books and scriptures. 
but they do not really understand anything so it is simply a uh, activity of gathering crowd <laughs> nothing happens to them no knowledge happens no progress happens current focus is totally on the program which is uh, which is good for me also it is less work now i don't need to stress too much so whenever somebody can contacts me i want to know this and that i'm simply sending them to the program i do not answer anything nowadays those who have gone through the program their questions will vanish within a few days i know there will be questions after the program after listening also there can be some questions but in the satsang we finish it don't worry <laughs> if you are on the proper path all the answers will be available sooner or later nothing to worry a little bit of patience is needed and usually answers are not what you expect your questions will be destroyed this will happen the questions are gone just like this question our question from shivam why i cannot experience what the animals are experiencing and the question is destroyed that uh, animals do not experience anything only the experiencer can experience you will never know <laughs> the question will become invalid this is the strangeness of path of knowledge ultimately there is nothing to know ultimately all these doubts are cropped up because of ignorance as soon as ignorance is removed no question if the question comes yet the question will be destroyed it is the question is not there because you have not experienced anything or because you cannot know anything no the question is there because of some wrong notion some wrong concept everybody should try to understand this philosophy of path of knowledge only removal of concepts will happen there is hardly anything to know except what you are that much should be known and actually those who are doing the old program version 1 version 2 whatever they should shift to the new program version 3 if possible if you are not written everything there already and simply copy paste your old notes in the new it is somewhat different it is more to the point and we have removed all the maya from it because that was confusing a lot of people the illusion part is now minimal gone it is gone in the tantra bodhi so i have seen that if uh, the basic knowledge is not there the illusion is also not understood and the mind is trapped in that kind of extraordinary science because it is extraordinary it is beautiful it is very complex so the mind forgets the essential part and is trapped in the illusion part and uh, then i removed it because now now we have special program uh, completely dedicated to the illusion so those who want they can shift to the uh, new version and those who want illusion to study they they, they can take the uh, tantra bodhi later on if it is needed at all i have seen that many people don't need it they are happy with the truth so only those who clear the program will be can enroll there and even after that even after clearing the program only those who have a specific kind of physical and mental makeup will be allowed in that program it is not for everyone but if you want to know the illusion the illusion part the science part and the vibration part it is available online in my youtube channel pure experiences channel and links to that will be also all the channels are given portal only gyanmart.guru everything is there so the whole series of path of knowledge is on youtube in english for everybody no need to join any programs what is the advantage of program support while watching the videos if you get any questions or doubts there is nobody to answer but this program is supported so most welcome to go and listen to that series on uh, my english channel the path of knowledge series verification means you need to see why it is true and if you cannot see it if you cannot understand why why is that true then you should come in the satsang and ask here in our meeting and even after even after my reply or anybody's reply you can discuss among people also even after that it remains false for you you are not convinced of it that means it is time to change the path it is time to leave the path of knowledge it does not mean that it was false and it does not mean that it was true it simply means it is not for you 
it's not possible to verify its falsity or truth so this is the purpose of step number three it is not review you need not uh, memorize these things in step number three then once you verify there is exam now i check what happened how much was grasped and my criteria is very very lenient simple 50 percent passing marks are 50 percent to send you to the practices step which is step number four so minimal you must grasp 50 percent but i can see that many people and they grasp 100 percent sometimes they cannot tell it in the sometimes they cannot answer in the exam but that does not mean they don't understand the exam is very terrifying stressful for the mind so and the questions are very tricky they are uh, complicated questions i never ask simple questions there are one or two simple questions in the exams but the rest are designed to check your understanding how will you gain understanding by contemplating on what was given in the videos and that contemplation should result in verification that yes this is also true because this is true and that is true because this is my experience like this experience and logic should be used to verify if something cannot be verified you have two options either you say yes it is not important i'll simply click the verification and i'll see it later and second option is to come and ask in the satsang and even after that it is not understood then the option is uh, open to continue or to leave this is very important step step number three is very important because here you are becoming certain that whatever i heard is actually true it is actually my experience it is actually useful for me and that's why this is important and that's why we arrange this such thing especially for people who are in step number three because after step number four there is nothing to do much it is simply remembrance this we arranged this meeting only for step number three otherwise it was not required so once you cross this there is nothing to do in the program it is very simple after that so hopefully you understood the difference between review and verification it must be verified you can take uh, as much time as you want but usually what happens is it does not take time because you see the first 10 lessons are simply introduction to the path of knowledge this is called knowledge that is called ignorance these are the effects of ignorance there is nothing to verify there it is all common sense and the main things to verify are uh, in the self-realization parts where you finally come to know who you are check it again and again is this correct or not if that is understood if that is verified then all questions will be answered you won't get any question even if you get any question contemplating on it for two minutes will answer it that is why we say the person must be very intelligent here on the path of knowledge it, it the truth is seen in two minutes why did i even get this question this will be the condition after after you really verify some who you are no questions will arise that is why we say that if you know yourself you will know everything knowing everything means no doubts will remain about anything no questions will arise so usually my job is simply to help you to verify i will not claim anything and i will not teach anything teaching means listening only so there will be pointing that look you are missing this thing you are forgetting this thing like this only ultimately the seeker needs to verify everything i am there to help so in, in that sense you are your own guru you will not need any guru after this if you learn the art of verification by your yourself so the program is uh, simply a means to make you self sufficient you will not need any book after this if you read the books after this program you will grasp them very clearly 100% the crystal clear and then you will say it is all repetition <laughs> you can read them for entertainment that's all or there will be illusion parts the illusion has this illusion has that it is entertainment because the illusion has nothing really solid nothing solid is there there is no knowledge in the illusion knowledge is only this much so any more questions Sagar is saying this program is helping me. I am giving away physical things. People are asking if I am moving somewhere else. I can relate better to Kabir's song and spiritual discourses. My day to day life has also improved. Thank you for creating the course and your constant hard work. You are most welcome. I am very happy that you are progressing. 
the program says you will not gain anything it is very clearly said there but you will lose many things like it is already happening in your life it has happened in my life also all the madness is gone and people will call you mad now because you are not doing the same kind of madness which they are doing it is strange for them so it is reversal of madness so that will bring a lot of peace and knowledge is the key yes knowledge is the key it it opens everything and why i am doing the constant hard work because somebody has done hard work on me isn't it once you realize everybody is my own form then not, nothing else is meaningful so one day all the seekers they will arrive at this point where they will create the courses and do the satsang and all probably not in this lifetime probably some people need to finish their karmic balance but one day some point in their infinite lifetime it will happen so it is very natural this direction will happen like this once you know what you are whomever you listen to the great gurus you will you will be able to understand what they are saying even if it is encrypted like kabir song is totally poetry encrypted upanishads completely encrypted ashtavakra gita avdut gita ordinary people will no, never understand even a single word even if it is translated in english or hindi it will look like encrypted encoded puzzle once you know who you are everything is clear knowledge is the key and that is why i'm doing hard work and it is not hard work it is enjoyment because uh, you cannot bring anybody out of ignorance if you can if you do not enjoy doing it it should not become a job it should become like a play then there is fun then there is some point in telling somebody that look i know something i can tell you the same thing that there is enjoyment there it cannot be done like a job suraj is asking during the actions and speech the awareness can be maintained but as soon as the thoughts and emotions come the awareness vanishes it comes only after some time it is true that i am beyond thoughts and emotions i am only that who knows thoughts and emotions how to maintain awareness during thoughts emotions or impulses so it is not a big problem the problem is you are thinking that awareness is a separate state which will happen only when there is nothing happening in the mind no that is not the right awareness awareness is fully knowing what is happening in the mind there is no special trick there is no special method to bring the awareness during emotions impulses thoughts there is no special way to maintain it same way when there are no thoughts when there are no challenging situations there is awareness same way it can be there with thoughts with emotions with challenging situations there is no special trick to bring it in those times so first you need to remove this assumption that uh, awareness will come by doing something special in these conditions challenging conditions no it will never come by doing anything there is no how to there is no how there is no process of bringing awareness or maintaining awareness remove these as assumptions from your mind this is the first thing you should do stop hoping for a miracle which will bring awareness from somewhere it's not possible how is there awareness when there are no emotions no thoughts actually it is impossible that there are no thoughts and emotions is it possible there will be less amount of it or these emotions and uh, uh, thoughts will not be that challenging there won't be that much energy in them so it appears that uh, uh, my awareness is there effortlessly but it goes away when this uh, activity of the mind becomes little bit more then it goes away but thinking like this is incorrect in the the way you were aware while the activity was less same way you need to be aware while the activity is more don't expect a different way to be aware what is the way to be aware remember it is simply remembering what you are now it is easy to remember when you are doing nothing when there are no thoughts no emotions it is easy to remember it is slightly difficult to remember when you are in a situation which demands other activities more of other activities so not a big problem you can uh, hold an intention that whenever something goes wrong i'll be double aware it will work do not ex- expect something some miracle to happen no just program yourself do these settings in your mind that whenever something goes wrong their first thing i'll do is to become aware to remember first thing i'll do is i'll remember what i am and yes it will take some time to uh, install this habit 
it will take some time to become like this that is why we call it practice practice means you need to practice now i usually give an example of driving in heavy traffic so when there is heavy traffic on the road and indian traffic like people are going anywhere they want and you are driving do you drive fast or do you drive slow carefully looking around pressing the brakes you have two options while driving in heavy traffic either you drive at full speed without thinking without looking anywhere or you drive carefully and anybody will say that yes i drive very carefully i slow down and i uh, stop the car i hit the brakes why because as soon as you see heavy traffic your mind tells you slow down remember you need to hit the brake probably in past you know some accidents happened <laughs> you hit somebody something and that made an impact on your mind that no, no, no now i'll remember not to drive fast in crowded place heavy traffic this is very natural now imagine the thoughts and emotions in your mind is traffic it's crowded everything is going on in the mind and yes if you do your actions in this condition there will be accident there will be some bad outcome obviously so that should get impressed on your mind that yes every time i do something like this recklessly the outcome is always bad or most of the time it is bad so you should now understand using your intelligence that it, if it is crowded in the mind i need to slow down stop break remember probably now you will remember imagine this is the trick you are asking for a special process uh, assume that this is the special process whenever the traffic increases in your mind you need to bring in your driving habit here how to drive this body isn't it action means what driving the body and the speech so same way the thoughts will not stop the emotion probably will not stop but you will get a control it will not cause any consequence not much same way driving in the traffic the car won't stop the engine won't turn off only thing it will go slow it will go in the proper direction it will not hit anybody that is the advantage of awareness trying to find a special solution in dif difficult conditions for maintaining awareness is escaping the practice the practice only one and the same there is only one practice same practice all conditions all situations all states of the mind waking sleeping dreaming there is no magic formula strong intention intelligence feedback isn't it you hit somebody while driving now this won't happen for rest of your life that mistake won't happen because the feedback was so bitter i am telling from my own experience actually so if something bad happens while you are very angry or very happy or whatever because the emotions will make you do wrong things wrong actions happen so that feedback is so bitter the next time your mind will halt you won't say anything you won't do anything first thing you'll do is let me check what is happening in my mind because you are a newcomer you are a new seeker you just got into the practices you are just got into the path of knowledge probably first time so do not expect miracle that from today itself i will get full control over over all the mental activity impossible your practice will last for whole of your life and the more thoughtful you are the more mindful you are the more interested you are in maintaining it quickly you will progress faster you will progress so this was told so many times now almost every satsang has this question what to do to bring awareness nothing can be done it is not an action i would have given you the actions if it could be brought by doing something for example you are not aware now you want to bring the awareness you start the process you start the ritual you start the action but remember as soon as you started this process this new method to bring awareness you have already realized that i am unaware and realization that there is no awareness is actually awareness you already remembered in complete unawareness there is no remembrance of any kind no remembrance to bring the action also to do the action of awareness also <laughs> the darkness is complete so it is not possible to act and bring awareness you can see it is very logical it is not like any other action it is a state of mind which is cultivated either you cultivate it sitting down for a few 20 minutes 15 minutes every day or life is your front line life is your uh, battle ground do it there do it jump directly in life practice there at most you will make mistakes few times few months few years it's not a bad thing because you are you were living this kind of life since your childhood nothing bad happened isn't it? so love brings awareness love of knowledge 
that is the magic trick keshav is asking once you explained that gurus have used the word advait which means not two instead of using the word one how is one different from other yes if you want a precise word for what is in existence and if you say one then you must show that it is one as you know on the path of knowledge we never say anything which we, which we cannot show directly so it can be proven that it is not two but uh, the oneness will never be experienced it will always remain two so to silence this kind of objection that you are calling everything as one but you never show us one the masters you know some of the masters they stopped at not two they said i can show you that it is not two i can disprove all the claims of duality but one i cannot show you so that is why it is called non duality instead of oneness then why do we use oneness it is a loose language inaccurate language because if you if you are a newcomer if you are a new seeker on the path of knowledge and i keep repeating non dual advait uh, nobody will understand it especially if they are just starting the, and if they, there is no program if they are not going uh, properly systematically so we uh, use some other word which they can grasp so they understand oneness probably they won't even understand oneness because there is ness here and e double s what is the meaning of oneness they will say i know one oneness it is somewhat confusing and not to is even more confusing not to what so you see just to give a concession to these people who are just starting who don't have the terminology of uh, advait vedant or any other philosophy they are given this word oneness and when we start the program we don't start with oneness we don't even start with non duality we start with existence wholeness the existence is defined as not oneness it is defined as wholeness you remember the definition of existence is all that which is we find out that there are no two there it cannot be divided undivided there is another word so the existence can be um, described in many ways and oneness is another word for it wholeness is another word for it bliss truth so many existence truth bliss sachidanand there are many words emptiness nothingness nirgun qualityless these are all my names and oneness is also my name but the most accurate is traditionally not to non dual so when to use not to and when to use when when you are talking to ordinary people you can use when no problem at all and anyway they won't understand anything when you are you uh, talking to newcomers uh, you can use oneness unity yoga union like this probably they will understand it but when you are starting defining what is then you can use existence wholeness but when you are talking to somebody who is already uh, adept who is already master of path of knowledge there you should always use non dual this is simply convention you see whatever you want you can use what will that person who is listening to you will understand and while teaching a guru will use many words and on the intention is if you miss this word at least you will understand the other word if you miss that you will understand something else so on keshav is saying this should have been probably is the best possible way to say the truth in the language of illusion yes if those do not understand the technical language terminology is not there you need to use something approximate it is not one you cannot call it one because it's not an object so you you put ness in front of it that it is a being state of being state of being one and uh, that is what it is absence of duality so th- th- this is one good thing about path of knowledge is every word is negative here everything is negative that does not give us any place to invest as soon as you say oh it is this i am that and uh, the guru will correct you no you are not what you are thinking you are not this you are not that so most of the words are um, negative on the path of knowledge and we prefer the negative words so i think um, all questions are done for today we can end our meeting here so thank you everybody for coming in the meeting